Logan Mini Retro Review 20th Century Fox's X-Men franchise has more down than ups. The first two X-Men movies are excellent. The Wolverine was okay, the director's cut made it better, and X-Men Days of Future Past. The rest suck. Some more than others, Apocalypse and Dark Phoenix in particular, and the terrible X-Men Origins Wolverine, which royally fucked over Deadpool. Starring Hugh Jackman in his signature role as Logan slash Wolverine, a mutant with self-healing powers and a metal skeleton. Patrick Stewart as powerful psychic Charles Xavier slash Professor X and Defane Keane as Laura Kinley slash X-23, Logan's daughter, cloned from Wolverine. After the events in Westchester a year earlier, 600 people were injured plus several X-Men were killed by Xavier's telepathic seizures caused by onset dementia. Logan hides out with his friend in an old smelting plant in Mexico accompanied by a mutant tracker, Caliban, played by Stephen Merchant and drives a limousine in El Paso, Texas to save up the money to buy a boat where Xavier can live the remaining years out on the ocean. Unfortunately, the appearance of Laura slash X-23 sets in motion a bloody struggle for survival. The movie is essentially a road movie with western elements. Wide shots from the back of characters to establish a showdown, a violent altercation between a farmer and a company who want his land, Laura slash X-23's eulogy over Logan's grave. There's no living with the killing was straight out of 1953 Shane, starring Alan Ladd. Joey, there's no living with, with a killing. And Noir, added to the mix. Tight frames and angles. No doubt it inspired James McGall to release Logan Noir. And also a character study. Logan faced his mortality due to his antimantium skeleton poisoning his body and the weight of his long life. Xavier's dementia slowly robbing him of his identity and bouts of guilt over the Westchester incident. I did something. Something unspeakable. And Lara wanting to escape her past and finally finds a family only to have it ripped away. Of all the superhero movies I've watched, this is the best. The story, character arcs, themes, surpass the tag of superhero movie. No wonder it was nominated for the best adapted screenplay at the 90th Academy Awards. The set pieces are well staged, the supporting cast are excellent, Boyd Holbrook as Donald Pierce and Richard E. Grant as Xander Rice. I think it's a bittersweet moment for Hugh Jackman's Logan slash Wolverine. After 17 years he saved the best till last. If you like the content please subscribe, hit the like button and notification bell for new content. My comments section is an open forum so please knock yourself out. Typically the subject being copied is terminated.